watch for coming back this week. I, it's hard to believe it's already been six weeks that you've spent with us. The time just flew by so quickly, and I've really enjoyed getting to know you over this time. And I want to thank you for having me back, because I appreciate the, the opportunity to share my story with, with you and the, the whole congregation. Yeah. So we've actually learned quite a bit about your life. We started with your birth, uh, that you grew up you know, in the palace with Pharaoh. Uh, then you went into exile, saw the burning bush, met God, and, you know, came back, freed your people, the plagues, the Red Sea. And then all that time in the wilderness, the Ten Commandments, uh, we really learned and covered a lot of ground over these five weeks. But we come to a part where it's a very poignant part of your story that I don't think you know, we talk a whole lot about. So we've um, come to a part in your story where you know you're going to address your people for the last time before they enter the promised land. And, um, you know, any of us who have faced illness or death kind of understand what it feels like to know that, you know, we may be addressing people for the last time. Uh, how was that for you? What did you think about, want to convey to them? Yeah, that was a, a very, it was a difficult time. Um, and, and I think you're right that it, it's a relatively relatable moment for a lot of people that have had any kind of any kind of ending that they had to work through that they, they knew was coming. Um, but I think that the thing that weighed heaviest on my mind was was simply, had I done enough, would, would what I had started, what God had started through me, would that continue after I wasn't there to shepherd the people anymore? Would they continue to follow God or would they get dis distracted? Um, and so it, it, that was that was what was was heavy, heavy on my mind was, had I done enough? And so, what was the message that you conveyed to the people? The message that I that I that I tried to convey to the people, at least, um, was was about remembering uh, that that they should remember what it was like to be a slave in Egypt. That they should remember. Uh, the powerful acts that God did for them, that they should remember the time that we spent in the wilderness um, and, and what God did for us there. Um, that it, you know, it, it wasn't about me, it was about what God was doing with the people. And it's very important not to forget that, to, to let that uh, continue for generations, to make sure that that, uh, that, that story's known. You coined a phrase that Jesus calls the greatest commandment. What was that? Uh, that, that was that, that you, the, the people, uh, should, should love God with, with all of your heart and with all of your being and with all of your strength. And clearly, your words hit the mark with your people. They're words that we still read today. Um, Deuteronomy captures those words, and that's one of the most read books of the Old Testament. So, so really, thank you for your life. Of course. Um, so today uh, is All Saints Day. It is a day where we remember all those who have gone before us and those who we've lost this last year. And it's also um, the 60th anniversary of St. John's. Well, congratulations on that. Thank that you. 60 years, that's that's longer than we were lost in the yes. wilderness. It's, it's yes. quite an accomplishment. Uh -huh. Absolutely. And we're celebrating tonight. You're welcome to join us if you would like. Um, we are celebrating with a dinner and a Reformation village. So I'm wondering if you have any parting words that you would like to share with St. John's. I do, um, and, and I think I, I love what what you're doing with with celebrating this this history, with with learning my story, with with uh, celebrating the Reformation, with celebrating your own history of, of 60 years, um, because I, I think that's what's really important. And whether it's coming from 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 me, from Moses, from a reformer like Martin Luther, from the founders of your congregation, uh, all of us, what's really important isn't necessarily the here and now of what is what is for me, what is what is for my time, uh, but it's establishing uh, something that, that lasts and it, and it goes to our children, to our children's children, to our children's children's children, to, to all the generations, to, to teach uh, that history, uh, those relationships, and carry that forward into the future. So Moses, I want to thank you so much for uh, being here with us, for spending this time with us. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure getting to know you. And one last question, where are you headed to next? I, you know, I hear the weather is nice down south this time of year. So I was thinking of, you know, a beach would remind me of the sand in the wilderness, but then the water, it, it, it seems like a nice place. Okay, excellent. All right. Thank you, Moses.